welcome to my presentation. My name is Saide Shahbazi from IASPS and today I want to speak about the characterization of land deformation and hydrogeology properties through a joint in several measurements in Salma's plain northwest of Iran. At the first of my speak, I want to introduce the study area. Salmos Plain, with an area of about 445 square kilometers, is located 20 kilometers west of the Urumiya Lake in the West Azerbaijan in Iran. Here is the West Azerbaijan in Iran, and this is Salmos Plain map. Salmos Aquifer is one of the coastal aquifer flow into Urumiya Lake. A GPF, GPS graph shows a significant land displacement in Salmos Plain from 2006-2012. So this is a sign for us to discover subsidence reasons in this area. And uh, we also know that over extraction from groundwater uh, in this area caused a significant uh, groundwater level decline. In the method, we use both INSAR and hydrogeology data. We use INSAR as a remote sensing technique for measuring the uh, land deformation. The data in this uh, study is Sentinel-1 images, and hydrogeology data is from Water Company of West Azerbaijan. Here we first identify the mean velocity map from time series analysis of Sentinel-1 images, and then decompose it into both vertical and uh, lateral components. Moreover, we can uh, determine the spatial boundary of confined aquifer system. There is a relationship between hydraulic head uh, aquifer storage properties and land deformation in confined aquifer systems. So, we can express that the land deformation is directly related to changes in hydraulic head according to these equations. So, by using a joint well insert data, we can estimate the aquifer storage parameters, reconstructing the hydraulic head, and determining the total recoverable and irreversible uh, groundwater storage. The mean velocity map shows a significant subsidence, uh, about 60 millimeters, in the middle and eastern part of the plane. You can see the both uh, ascending and descending uh, mean velocity map. Um, we decompose them to the uh, vertical and uh, lateral uh, deformation. Um, uh, based on the vertical and lateral uh, displacement, we can reasonably assume that the line of sign displacement is strongly related to the vertical components uh, rather than lateral ones, so we can use the vertical components for uh, other parts of the asset. Furthermore, we determine the spatial boundary of confined aquifer in the Salmos Plain. We produce a dense network with 55 points and calculate the seasonal amplitude based on the variation of these points between wet season and dry season. And you can see the confined aquifer boundary in the map with dark blue color. We estimated a skeletal assertivity time delays between heat changes and land deformation at 50 piezometers through a joint in several data analysis. And we reconstruct uh, the head levels from INSAR data and fill the gaps in the head time series. You can see the black lines as a measured head, blue line as a measured head that uh, shifted according to their time delays, and the red dots as a estimated, um, INSAR estimated head with their um, error bars. You can see that uh, there is a good correlation between the INSAR head uh, measurements and the real head time series. And the last one is a groundwater storage variation. Um, there is a groundwater storage variation of the confined system is estimated to be 18 million cubic meters over the recent last three years because of overexploitation from groundwater. It is funded that irreversible uh, accounts for 70% and recoverable groundwater storage accounts for 30% of total groundwater storage. These findings show that the most of the groundwater pumping from the confined aquifer comes from uh, dewatering of compact aquifers. That is very dangerous for a confined aquifer system and this is the main reason for the subsidence in this area. This is our conclusion and thank you for your uh, attention.